channel if you're new here my name is Alora and I make motherhood and lifestyle content be sure to subscribe down below if you have not done that yet really I am a stay-at-home mom as you can hear my child in the back <laughs> and I'm also currently 30 weeks pregnant with my second child yes I know my appointment starts in a few hours it starts at 11 15 so I have some time to spare I'll probably tidy up the house a little bit but not too much because it's still early on in the day my toddler still has lots of energy and he still has lots of exploring he still needs to do he hasn't even touched half the house yet and usually by the end of the day he has touched pretty much every room in the house there's some sort of mess but that's okay that's just the age we're at it used to kind of bother me um but as i have gotten farther along in my pregnancy and more more accustomed to toddler behavior <laughs> it has bothered me less and less i will give a quick bump update i'm feeling big i'm feeling like a whale my back is starting to hurt but that just means we're getting really really close to birth and those are all the healthy signs that your child will be here got 10 more weeks praise the lord i'm happy to be this far along this is the 30 week bump nice big and round I did like a little thrift haul. I went thrift shopping yesterday, but I haven't taken care of anything. So I'll just show you what I got from a thrift store. I got myself two skirts and then the rest were baby girl clothes. These skirts are not maternity friendly. I mean, maybe this one might be, but the other one definitely is not. Uh, this is for after I have my baby. Here's the first one. Really cute. This one could be maternity friendly because it is long enough to wear the waistband can go over the bump and the skirt wouldn't be too short. It's got ties right here in the front. I don't know the brand. It does not have a tag on it, so I have no idea what the brand is. But this skirt, it is this kind of silky, 
material and that is the pattern on it. And then I found this, which I thought was adorable. It's actually um, Shein. Shein, is that how you pronounce it? That sweatshop shop? Yeah, that one. This has also got a tie in the front. Um, but what I like about it is it this kind of like this waistband, so it's meant to go over the waist. Definitely um, after I give birth. And I thought this would be really cute for fall, which I should be able to fit into it by fall. If not, that's okay. And then the rest of the things I got are baby girl clothes. And like I mentioned in a previous video, I've been very selective with what I buy. Um, even though it's like 99 cents at Goodwill, I still have just been very selective because I went overboard with my son. I had way too many clothes. Half of them he didn't even wear. I will start off with probably my best find. I found this little outfit. So cute. And when I thrift for baby clothes, I am making sure that I am buying the size that is also like that goes along with the season so for example when she is three months old it will be hot outside it will be summer so there's no need to buy long sleeved items um this one is i think 12 months yeah so this is 12 months and when she's a year old it will be springtime so still kind of need long sleeve for that and i feel like she could wear it before that anyways but um i got this little outfit found this really cute coat this is six to nine months so that will be the fall going into winter time so i thought this little cute coat would be nice i love how like dainty it is it's so feminine i just love it um, i found this dress for the winter this is from old navy what size is this three months so perfect for the summer it's just got little ladybugs on it. Just a pair of pants, little stars on it. Then I found these cute little shorts for the summertime for her. So cute. This shirt says mom's mini. I thought it was adorable and I love the color. I, I love that mint green teal color. And then lastly, just a basic onesie. It's little polka dots. That's what I got for her and uh, I know she'll wear all of them because I really, really liked the pieces that I picked out and they were also appropriate for the type of weather that it will be outside. So very happy with what I found. I have to head to my OB appointment here pretty soon, so I'm going to start getting things ready and getting things all packed up. Are you ready to go bye bye Hi. <laughs> he waved bye bye <laughs> It is a few hours later. I have not picked up the camera. I really haven't been able to do much. Nap was a total disaster. <laughs> First off, he fought going to sleep, which isn't necessarily unusual, but it's nice when he's not fighting me. And then two, he slept for maybe like 30 minutes and then he woke up with a horrible coughing fit. So he was up. And I tried putting him back to bed, rocking him for like a good hour, and it just wasn't doing anything. Disaster naps do not happen often. They're very rare, but when they happen, well, they're just not fun. My husband should be home pretty soon. It's 3.45, so he usually gets home around 4. Hi. <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> <laughs> it is now the next day and today is going to be more of a chill day i have a play date planned in about an hour it is beautiful outside the high today is 61 and i'm so just i'm just so excited so i have a play date planned with a friend we're gonna go to the park let our kids play and run and just enjoy this beautiful rare weather like literally mid-February and it is 
high of 61. Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> that is amazing. It feels like spring. I woke up this morning and I was just like in a lot of pain. <laughs> it was, and it's just like a lot of pelvic pain and it just, it felt deja vu. I remember feeling this when I was pregnant with Caspian. So I'm just going to try to take it kind of easy um, and not do too much today, but I do have some things I need to catch up on and um, some chores that need to get done. I am so excited to go outside today. I have just, I've been craving this kind of weather. Just totally craving it. I am not a huge fan of winter. I really am not. Um, I, winter gets a bad rep and I try to be positive, but winter is a hard time of the year. It just is. The lack of sun, the lack of fresh air, it just... It definitely starts to weigh on you towards the end. So I am thankful for today and for the weather today and we're going to fully enjoy it. Grab your shoes. Grab your other one. Good job. Let's go put your shoes on. 